For Bank of Uganda, financial inclusion is about access to financial services. We want to have access by a majority of the people, low-income people, middle-income people, and upper-income people. We want to get people out of the informal sector to the formal sector. We are partnering with uh, the banks that uh, we supervise. We are reaching out to insurance, we are reaching out to capital markets, and we have also done a lot as Bank of Uganda on our part. We started by allowing banks to partner with uh, telcos or mobile money providers. We've licensed very many. There are many people who are already benefiting and uh, benefiting from mobile money. We now have uh, 19 million who are registered on uh, the mobile money framework. Actually, we have already uh, 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 rolled out the consumer protection guidelines because we want equity, we want fairness, we want transparency uh, within the sector. And it is mainly going to benefit those uh, small savers who have got complaints and we shall be handling uh, these uh, complaints uh, ourselves. We must have products that respond to the requirements of those people. It's uh, not just savings, it's not just access to credit, but we must understand their problems in terms of access to, to savings, access to loans, uh, and respond to, to, to those requirements. So that's a financially included sector. And this is not an end in itself. It's not just that people should save. It is not that people should get access. At the end of the day, it is improving the welfare of those individuals. It is improving the welfare of the households and ultimately grow this economy. That's what will grow this economy, when we have very many people involved in economic activities. Mm -hmm.